Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. I am Squishy the Titan, and welcome to Gone Home. Now, this is a game that I've been wanting to play for a while, but uh, I never really got around to buying it. <clears throat> but with the Steam Summer Sale going on, I was like, hey, yes. Anyway, this is uh, supposed to be a short, a rather short, very story-driven game, sort of uh, in the likes of, like, Dear Esther and... Trahe Wibba Furphy, um, and you guys know how much I absolutely loved both of those games, so I'm going to get right into it and hope for the best experience possible. Use the arrow keys or WASD to walk. I'm going to use WASD. Look around using the mouse. So pretty standard PC controls. <clears throat> Got my sweet tea. <sighs> Loading. Yep. Loading screen stopped. And we're good. The Fulbright Company presents. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Gone home. Now, I saw some of the reviews. Some people actually gave this game of the year 10 out of 10, which, for a game that doesn't really have much gameplay other than exploration and uh, just discovering the story as you go along, <clears throat> that is a stellar, stellar, absolutely unheard of accomplishment. Uh, hold on real quick. Got to do mouse sensitivity type things and stuff. Uh, I need to see if there's any way to adjust shit. Uh, hold on one sec. The recording stopped real quick. So... And I'll begin it again. So yeah, I just turned on subtitles and changed up my mouse sensitivity. Other than that, uh, you didn't miss anything, literally. Hold right mouse <clears throat> or left shift to look closer. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Well, that was interesting. Oh, snap. Okay, so the aiming uh, snaps to whatever I can do at the moment. So that, that's pretty nice. Locked. Huh. All right. The aim slows down significantly uh, when I'm... Looking at something that I can interact with. Alright. Is there anything in here that I can- Oh, there's a duck. And a key! I'm gonna take the good old Christmas duck. Press 1 or I to check the contents of my backpack. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's dark. Now, I don't believe this is supposed to be a horror game. But you never know. Uh, blah blah blah. I moved a bunch of overweight library books. Damn! That is. That is a price right there. Dear Katie, so much has changed. Even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Okay, so... Yeah. Basically, that was just kind of like a note from her... I, I'm guessing little sister. 
Alright, that's better. Now it's not as dark. This is sort of eerie and spooky, sort of the same way Dear Esther was. But, uh, I'm hoping they do the Dear Esther thing in that there's no real danger to be had. Uh, because I think that's the best way you could just, you know, just sit back and immerse yourself in the experience. But yeah, all of the reviews that I've seen, uh, it has been an extremely immersive game. Dear Jan. It's so good to- oh, God, I hate reading cursive. It's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds qu sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable, fantasizing about our own dream homes? Our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining, blah blah blah. It's just a note. It's just a note to my mama. Okie dokie, let's go. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna go into that room. Alright. Uh, let's go check over here before we go upstairs. Uh, read itinerary. Okay. So I got this relatively cheap on Steam. It was actually a really, really nice deal. Uh, it was only like five bucks. Hello. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of class. So that you can get right into the swing of things. Okay. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class, and I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. What? One of the postcards I sent. Hi, Mom and Dad. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit Dejeuner. I cannot freaking remember what Le, Pe Le, Petit, uh, Le Petit Dejeuner is. Uh, I thought, I think it's breakfast. Yeah, because Dejeuner is dinner, I think. Le Petit Dejeuner is uh, breakfast, I think. <clears throat> and wearing a beret. I am I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Weird. Okay. Uh so now I guess we're living in a psycho house. Yeah, fuck that noise. That's literally fuck that noise. I don't that's not particularly happy for me. The killing of JFK, a theory. An important new look at this, blah, 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 blah. I examine paper. Uh, da, 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 da. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of, the, of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LC LDCD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. What? Can I unplug? I cannot unplug the lamp. Oh. Okay. Switch fan. Okay, I won't do that again! I'm sorry. I did not know you did not like that. I will not switch the fan on. Alright. Damn a magazine. Hi! You have extremely pretty eyes. 9020, does anybody still care? Uh, I was a teenage drag queen. Sarah Holst not gathering moss. What? 
Not gathering moss. That's from May 95. Okay. That is a seriously loud storm going on out there. Alright, this is a very, very large house. Well, let's go check out that noise. Severe weather warning, western region. Okay. Ooh, let's see what sort of home movies. Ah, uh, X Files. Severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. All right, hold on one sec. Boone County, Dawn County, Tecumseh County, and Wisteria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Alright, so I turned off the sticky, uh, sticky targeting. So now, uh, it won't snap straight to whatever I can interact with. And it'll make it easier to play. Insert tape. No. We're not going to do that. Alright, what's over in this area? Is this the bathroom. No, this is a closet. Hello, what are you? Read story. The heaven at the edge of the world. Oh boy. The turtle people. Part one. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! Fuck you for doing that at the perfect time! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, You're n you're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no- There ain't no paradise, and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Nice. A little bit uneventful, but oh nice. But still nice. Sam thought this might help Dad. Making friends. Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry about... Having friends to spend time with, this book will teach you to make friends, even when you're shy! You know that feeling, where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always punk drawing stable. in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed not she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. That's awesome. This, my sister plays Street Fighter. Yes, I'm proud of you, sister. You are a very, very good sister. Terry! Hey, man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your cast, in your last letter, how so much of a, how so, how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature, and writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor, and tell him your old college chum, Mike, sent you. 
Here's the address. David warning blah 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 Do it! Mike! Okay. Uh, it's that book Dad wrote. The Accidental Savior. John Russell knows that the presence of his life hangs in balance, but who would believe him? Blah! I think Stephen King actually kind of wrote a book similar to that. Alright. Yes? What was that? What if JFK was- What if JFK wasn't a JFK? What if he was really- Oh, I don't have the hair for it. Aliens. Hello, you stick out. You do not stick out, okay. Stop it! Stranger Under My Roof! The number one best-selling advice for- Advice book for parents of teens. Dr. Alyssa Medina. Eliza Medina. The teen years are fraught with chains of all types, physical, mental, blah blah blah. Hopefully you're all in your teens to know that already. Open folder. Read letter. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting for the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There are word- there's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's, begin it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the usual usable copy without heavy rewrites. Um... Alright, so Daddy got fired. 0451. I wonder if that's going to be important. Uh, Daddy had some problems at his job, apparently. Writing reviews for, uh... Oh, snap! Daddy's second book! The Accidental Pariah. A message from our future saved the president's life once. But within the next 24 hours, there will be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. Nice. Whoa! That will never happen in real life. That will never ever happen in real life. Anyway. Um... So, I guess I gotta go upstairs to continue exploring. Or I could just go down this hall. Grab a bunch of coupons. Put back. Examine pamphlet. Department of Agriculture, U.S. National Forestry Manual. Pacific Northwest Conservation Department. Okay. Good to know. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm trying to grab onto everything, see what will trigger another bit of story from Samantha. Uh, but it, I, it's a bit more random than it might seem. Or not random, it's a bit, uh, less obvious than it might seem. This is going to do it. I guarantee it. Reproductive system worksheet, ooh. Yeah, I agree with you. I d ooh, what? Ooh, 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 hold on. The Menstrual Cycle. A novella. Oh, God. I don't know if I want to read this. But I'm going to! The early morning of September 1st, 1939? Seven? Essa Glatt stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Weilen in Poland. As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of her dear Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. As this train approaches its destination, her heart races. The lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. Okay. I'm not going to read any more of that. That is not something that I need- I- I- I know enough about it. I am not about to- I'm not about to make YouTube about learning, um, about the menstrual cycle. I'm sorry, I'm moving my monitor a little bit up. It's a little too low for me. My second monitor. Okay, that's better. Open cover, play record. Stop that shit. We're gonna get the storm yelling at us again. What do we have here? Read letter. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that unfortunately, Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to the accidental pariah. Despite the low sales of the accidental 
accidental savior, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. Well, crap. I'm sorry, Daddy. Can I, can I glug on this? I cannot glug on that. Okay. So, my dad basically is not a very good writer. So, my dad's basically a shit writer. Uh, is there a light in here? Jeez. This is dark. This is where a light switch usually goes. But nothing. Okay. Nothing? Like, literally nothing. Okay. Sounds good! Anything else? Okay. Gra oh, yeah. It's going this way. Alright. Dye. Lip balm. I actually could use some lip balm. Hello. Nothing? Hello. Ooh, hello. Hi, Lonnie! So if you wanted to come over to my house, still, this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back, and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after 6th. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there, then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. Haruken! Oh, romance in Street Fighter! So you know yes. what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the Psycho House. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. That is awesome. My sister found friendship in a punk girl that plays Street Fighter. Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of the next week. As part of a forestry service run conditional controlled burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. Forestry crews have been preparing the area for months. The burn operation will take place between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly into Thursday depending on speed of progress. According to the forestry service. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires and drier months, the operation will serve as a valuable training tool for the forestry and fire fighting personnel involved, said senior cons conservationist Janice Greenbrier. Smoke will likely linger in the area through the following weekend. All right. Okay, read personal calendar, weekly planner, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Zaman form, blah 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 blues Bruce Pendleton had us official bullshit about stuff that I don't care about. Uh pick us a pick up cassette case? No, I'm not gonna do that. Hello. It's getting eerie. Not scary, eerie. Is this Sam's room? This is Sam's room. Sam's room, isn't it? Okay, so my sister turned into a punk type. That's cool. I'm okay with that. Don't leave your TV on, Sam. She's got a SNES cartridge here. What have we got? Adventurous the Cat. Returns. Okay. Alright. Oh, hey, there's another note. 
Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What are all the cool kids are... What all the cool kids are actually doing is... Sending each other pages in their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. That's awesome. Lonnie's the shit. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How did you know they were about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I wonder what I want. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. What? Oh, that's their teacher. <laughs> also, like his secret shame is he watches 90210 religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also that he's never watched 90210, but I could see in his eyes he was lying. Alright. So I'm guessing these are the type of girls that are... Super Spitfire, nice. I don't... These are not real games. Okay. What have we in here? This is a so... This is such an eerie game. Like, I'm actually nervous that something is going to pop out and be a douchebag. Hello? Book, book. Holy Bible. Oh, boy. Okay, that's, that's, that's weird. Captain- Oh, hey, she's actually writing it! Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended the single shining thread onto the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate on their own now grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chalk- chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread, high it, nigh unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind, leading their, leading their way back to the entrance. From further into the labyrinth, the moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice. The hairs on Captain Allegra's arms stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment, too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first, na the first mates nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the dead king's throne room lay below, skeletal and rotted robes. The king was hunched over, the blue orb topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls. As he sang, wailing souls flowed in one by one through the cracks in the cave walls pulled into the orb, causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long staircase hewn from rock led down into the chamber from a passage at the top. Allegra said, we have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention and then you. But the first man interrupted, no, I am smaller and quicker. And you know of dealing with mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side and get the team get the king's attention, and lead him on a merry chase. She held up the silk line. All traced by this invisible thread, of course. Allegra said, It is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tied the shining thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and a wink, and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly across at the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. The king continued his wait. No. No! The singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop the first mate from running headfirst into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her no use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passageway. She skidded to a stop, even from the s across the yawning basin. Allegra could see the first mate's eyes grow wide. She turned and ran, summoning his undead power. The king left the ground, levitating, gliding beyond, behind her with distressing speed. From some dank passage much too far away, 
Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running toward the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering line, twisting it around her arm. She came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled limply. Its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran, ran, ran. Holy shit! My sister is fucking awesome! I am proud of her! That was fucking awesome! So, anyway, I'm gonna try and enter the combination here. I think it's 0451, was it? Okay, no it's not. Uh... Nothing good? Okay. Anyway, I am running out of time for this video. I did not expect that it would take this long. Usually short means less than 30 minutes. But, sorry it's taking so long. Sorry this probably isn't as action-y as you guys hoped. But I really, really like story-based games. Like, really heavily story-based games. So, if you're in- if you enjoy- like, if you enjoy a good story- I know there's a note right there. If you enjoy a good story, then sit back and, you know, just enjoy this with me. This is really, really good. So, uh, anyway, I am going to have to save this for another video. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about me. I am Squishy the Titan, and I will see you in part two of Gone Home. Bye, guys!